Baroness Michelle Moan will leave the House of Lords as inquiries about her suspected links to a firm that awarded contracts for personal protective equipment, or PPE, escalated. Due to the leave of absence, Baroness Moan will not be allowed to vote, attend House meetings, or collect any benefits. But who is the Tory Lord, and what is so contentious about the contracts? Here is all the information you require. Watch till the end of the video to unleash some startling facts about the scandal. Moan has been connected to PPE MedPro, which obtained two disputed VIP lanes related government contracts for £203 million to supply masks and medical gowns between May and June 2020. As a result of failing NHS quality tests, the gowns were never utilised. She denied profiting financially from the company last year. Meanwhile, The Times says Whitehall sources said she would bully and hector to get the contracts leading Michael Gove to describe her as a right pain in the arse. And The Guardian also reported Lady Moan lobbied on behalf of the company LFI Diagnostics for Covid lateral flow tests. Earlier this week, former Health Secretary Matt Hancock claimed Lady Moan had aggressively lobbied him on behalf of another company in a row over a different set of contracts last year. In his diary, he wrote, Baroness Michelle Moan has sent an extraordinarily aggressive email complaining that a company she's helping isn't getting the multi-million pound contract it deserves. She claims the firm, which makes lateral flow test kits, has had a dreadful time trying to cut through red tape and demanded my urgent help before it all comes out in the media. I'm going to blow this all wide open, she threatened. She will now take a leave of absence notwithstanding the Tories' abstention on Labour's motion to publish information about the contracts. According to the Parliament website, the House of Lords Commissioner for Standards is now looking into Lady Moan's possible participation in acquiring contracts for PPE MedPro resulting in potential breaches of the House of Lords Code of Conduct. The National Crime Agency has also started looking into PPE MedPro for possible fraud. According to PPE MedPro, the contract was fulfilled according to the agreed upon conditions. The equipment was supplied fully following the agreed upon contract which included unambiguous terms as to technical specification and performance criteria of the products. Controversy is nothing new to Moan. She paid a settlement thought to be worth more than £50,000 earlier this year to resolve a libel suit brought by a former friend of Indian descent who claimed she sent him a racist message in June 2019, calling him a waste of a white man's skin. The Government of Health responded to the PPE tales by telling the BBC, Due diligence was carried on all companies that were referred to the department, and every company was subjected to the same checks. In a shocking article published by The Guardian two weeks ago, it was revealed that Moan and her husband had surreptitiously earned tens of millions of pounds from PPE MedPro's earnings. The Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, stated that he was extremely startled by the revelation. MPs agreed to compel Sunak's administration to make PPE MedPro documents public. Moan had assisted in getting PPE MedPro a spot on the VIP lane, which the administration utilised to give politically linked suppliers priority at the beginning of the pandemic. The Guardian also reported that Moan had been aggressively lobbying ministers on behalf of LFI Diagnostics, a second clandestine company owned by her husband's family office in the Isle of Man. The PPE agreement that is the centre of the Moan scandal and the massive profits it seems to have produced mainly on the back of supplies that have been rejected by the Department of Health and Social Care, in a dispute with the firm, is now the subject of previously unreported information that The Guardian can provide. The Guardian revealed in March that it had seen the purchase agreements with the Chinese producer of the medical gowns, revealing that Eric Beer and Loudwater had purchased the 25 million gowns for just £46 million. With costs not considered, the £122 million that the DHSC paid PPE MedPro resulted in a top-line profit of £76 million. The Guardian has obtained more stolen records that shows the face masks contract's top-line profit was £26.5 million. According to the numbers, PPE MedPro and its partners may have made up to £102.5 million from their £203 million contracts with the UK government, or a profit margin of about 50%. Requests for comments on that number received no responses from relevant parties. Documents from HSBC, which looked into the flow of PPE MedPro revenues that went to Barrowman, provided more insight into how these profits were allocated. At least £65 million of the £70 million Barrowman received from PPE MedPro in September 2020 
which he claimed to be earnings, were dispersed through several offshore accounts, trusts and businesses. According to bank documents, a trust with Moan and her adult children as beneficiaries was one of the recipients. According to the records, it earned £29 million in revenues from PPE MedPro earnings in October 2020. Baroness Michelle Moan has currently denied the accusation, giving multiple reasons. However, the law will take its own course and decide whether Moan is guilty. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel as a sacrifice to the gods of the algorithm. Thanks for watching.